G'day everyone, welcome back. Uh, we left off with just finishing the roof sheathing, which was a good milestone, uh, but now we've got to dry it in. So there's gonna be a few pre-dry in tasks that need to happen just to actually make it possible, which number one is gonna be finishing the framing around the dormer walls, um, and then also finishing the sheathing um, on each end wall, and uh, obviously sheathing this, uh, this dormer wall as well. That's gonna be mostly it. There will be some eave work, um, some ladder framing and fascia that needs to happen there as well. But for the most part, that's what we've got to knock down. And then we can start um, getting all the, uh, the waterproofing membrane on the roof and then of course on the walls as well. So that's where we're gonna start um, with the end walls and the dormer. It's a bit of a windy day, so not too much sheathing, but we'll, uh, we'll get onto that as soon as we can. And um, yeah, then we'll start wrapping. All right, and here's some proof that it doesn't always go to plan. Um, I made a bit of a push because I knew there was a storm coming uh, and I didn't want to just have the snow dripping through the roof as it melted over the next two weeks. And uh, I made a push, got the underlayment all put down, but didn't do the throwing strips all the way to the top, just enough that I could reach to the top. 
and uh, the net result was that I didn't get back around in time with the cap nails. Uh, I just used staples to lay it out quickly. Um, and we got more wind than we did snow, so rather than the roof being covered in snow, the wind just came through and ripped up that top piece because it doesn't have anything to hold it down. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll have to come back and replace that. It's gonna get shredded in the next day or however long it takes to uh, get some calm winds and it's just not worth dying up there because as you can see, it's pretty icy. So um, is what it is. Um, but what I realized is I kind of been pushed into dry it in so much that I didn't take a breath at all, metaphorically or literally, to actually talk about some of the things that happened in the steps. So um, let's run through that real quick and then um, we'll circle back and talk about the cost of everything. Okay, so here's our front door with the side lights and um, the door was a pre-hung uh, knotty pine, but um, I purposefully framed it so it would have 14 and a half inch stud bays symmetrically on each side and that was so that I could put side lights in. Now, um, I built these side lights myself, at least the frames, and then I bought the glass um, already done and kind of just framed them out. Obviously a bit more trim work to do, interior and exterior, to make them actually look good, but um, yeah, that's how I did that. Windows were just a pretty standard install, obviously. Um, nailing fins on the outside, um, and then, you know, foamed and corked around the inside. Um, the bottom level was easy, top level not so much, but I uh, got it done all the same. And um, yeah, they're pretty, I, I like them. So we got the white interiors with the black exteriors. They're just a, a sliding window and um, yeah, I think they're gonna be nice. And the last thing to mention as my underlayment flaps in the wind um, is, these obviously need to be trimmed back. Um, the edges here, the eaves, the valleys, all that is the uh, ice and water barrier and then the regular underlayment from there. The whole roof is going to be sitting uh, on these furring strips. There's going to be insulation and a radiant barrier and an air gap underneath that. So I'm going to start with that as soon as I obviously fix up my mistakes and get everything um, nailed down again and then another layer over that. You can see it's already started to tatter here, so it's not gonna be any good. Um, yeah, so um, that's kind of the only other detail. Um, and yeah, I definitely uh, think it'll be a good, you know, high performance roof. It's just been a lot more, a lot more work um, doing it this way rather than just putting the steel straight on the underlayment. Um, but that's how it goes. Um, I'm off grid, I need to be energy efficient, and so I need a good roof, so. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it on the detail stuff. Well, hopefully the sound of the uh, flapping roof underlayment isn't too much, but um, let's talk money. So uh, the structure up to this point had cost $30,000 and um, the steps we took to get it now dried in more or less um, is the windows and doors, um, the wrap, the roof underlayment and uh, the furring strips to the roof. Um, so that was about an extra $8,000. Um, where that came in was uh, about $5,000 for these windows, the Gelwen V4500s. Um, so they've got a good wind rating, low E glass, um, all the rest of it. So uh, they should be good. Um, the doors and the side lights um, obviously saved a fair bit of money by building the side lights myself. Um, a front door with the side lights just like this and not the older, um, the current time is about $2,700. Um, so I built this out for about a, a thousand bucks, maybe a bit more, I guess. Um, and then with the other door and everything, yeah, it was about 2,000 bucks um, for the doors. And then um, the roof underlayment, flashing tape, um, the sheathing, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the wrap. That was about another thousand bucks. So um, yeah, that's the eight thousand bucks, and um, yeah, thirty-eight so far that makes. And yeah, um, if you might be able to see back in that corner, we've got all our insulation. Um, I'm starting to work on electrical. Um, plumbing will be up soon, of course, on the nice days, doing the roof um, and then also the siding. So um, the videos from now on probably going to be more likely to be updates rather than like the steps I've been doing with each video um, just because I'm going to be working on so many things at the same time that um, it might be six months before I actually finish them all at the same time more or less so um, yeah check back for those subscribe uh, if you haven't and you want to see it uh, more regularly and um, yeah that's it I'll catch you then